This is the third encounter with Dagon Gera in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I'm shooting away to bring down his stun gouge. When his sword swings around him like that, you definitely want to try and parry that one. Not too close, but that brings his stun gouge down a lot. Once his stun gouge is depleted, run on up with your saber to finish him off. And don't forget to use Bode as well. There's the command down the bottom right of the screen when it's ready to use, when it's glowing green. There are a lot of mini cutscenes between a few phases. And it felt a bit random, but I guess that happens when his health is down to a certain amount, whether it's from you or Bode. He's going to summon some sort of dome. You want to back away from that. Later on in the later phases, he does the same thing, but then there's a shockwave along the ground as well. So you just want to jump in the air to avoid that shockwave along the ground. These you can easily avoid after he does that move with those orbs. You definitely want to hold your block or get rid of the parry because he's going to charge you from a distance. While using the blaster stance, when you hit him with your saber, it will replenish your bullets. There's even a skill you can unlock within that blaster stance in the skill tree. You can hold down a combination of buttons and he does some sort of rapid jabs and that really replenishes your bullets quite a fair amount. If you do want to play it safe, you can always back away and just wait for him to make the first move which is either going to be swinging his saber and rotating around him where you can quickly parry it or from a distance if you do have enough bullets just shoot away with him and every now and then Bode does help you. But you can wait for him to finish his combos and then get in your combos back on him. Just always get ready to dodge when he turns red because during his combos sometimes you'll finish off with a red unblockable. There's that dome again I was talking about except for I didn't dodge it in time but it has a shockwave along the ground. These easily dodge out of the way with the orbs, but again, he'll charge you once he's finished casting those to get rid of the block or dodge away. You'll see a common move he does where he starts spinning the saber rotating around him. Always try and parry it, but don't parry it too close. In a moment, you're about to see him summon two twins. They're very easy to kill, but they're just as fast and dangerous if they do get a combo in on you. Later on, you're about to see him summon two twin doppelgangers. Now, they're easy to kill, but they're just fast and agile and deadly if you get stuck in their combos. So you probably want to try and take them out first, but you always want to keep an eye on him. The real one is just the stun gouge only. The uh, fake ones that are easy to kill, once you do hit them, have a blue bar above their stun gouge. But you always want to try and keep an eye on him, because he might try and cast some ranged force attack on you while you're not looking. I've just casted my slow motion because I lost track of him there. Usually I should have casted that and taken out those twins instead. But hey, in the heat of battle, mistakes were made. Here we go, rotating saber, parried it. And then you can get in some hits because it stuns him a lot. Hope these tips are helping. Try and always keep an eye down the bottom there when you can use the slow motion. That really helped a lot, especially when he summons those two twin versions of himself. There is another ranged attack where he shoots some sort of shock waves towards you at different angles. You just want to use the dodge at the last moment though. If you dodge too early, you're probably going to get hit. Anyway, good luck. Enjoy the rest of the combat. Please consider subscribing. Hope to see you all next time.